Hey, Mr. Parker here to review uh, a new short by uh, my friend uh, Harry Collins. Harry Collins is a, a fellow YouTuber. Uh, he's a, pretty much an expert on splatter films, German splatter films, gore films. You'd be hard-pressed to find anybody else who uh, actually knows more. He runs a, a Facebook group. I think it's Hardcore Gore, where they post a lot of pictures of uh, uh, splatter movies, obscure splatter movies. So this is pretty cool that he decided to take a tackle at uh, directing his first short. It's called The Last Days of Livermore. Uh, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, essentially what we have here is just a low budget or no budget movie uh, about a couple on their way to kind of a, a place they used to visit. Uh, what's cool about the film is it takes place in uh, fall and I believe it's shot in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania has a lot of great hills and a lot of locations and uh, I've seen a lot of movies filmed in Pennsylvania that don't utilize this and uh, for his first short he utilized his surroundings very well. There's lots of uh, good foliage in the trees and things like that and there's a lot of nice uh, well thought out shots uh, where he pits his uh, um, composition really well with some things in the foreground and foreground. Some of the shots are a little out of focus, but, you know, I think a lot of independent filmmakers are guilty of that, myself included, but uh, in, the, in their early stages. So, yeah, there's that, but uh, like I said, there's a lot of good shots and thought-out shots and cool camera angles here. Uh, the film it has a nice little soundtrack, although every once in a while uh, you'll hear audio bumps like wind and whatnot. But, uh, I was like I said, I was impressed with a lot of the... Uh, composition and actually the score and things. So essentially we have these two uh, kind of finding this final location without giving too much away. The gore does start to flow uh, fairly heavy. Uh, some of the effects, you know, that they work. They're not perfect effects, but especially for a first film, I think they are uh, pretty good and uh, there's enough blood to keep you satisfied. Uh, the film runs about 19 minutes long. Uh, there's a lot of walking, like I said, but uh, it's it's framed nice so you don't mind and the music is nice and it builds up the tension to the final scene uh and i actually did enjoy the final uh scene in the film the kind of i guess i'll say slight twist uh definitely reminded me of something like a york booker at dertoskin kind of twist at the end which uh was pretty neat. Uh, again, the acting is independent, so uh, it, it's it's okay. I wouldn't have any major complaints about the movie. There's not much dialogue in it. Like I said, mostly walking and body language here and there. But uh, yeah, I, I did enjoy it for what it was, the 19-minute uh, gore film that has uh, is actually a little bit uh, shot. It, it's it's better shot than a lot of gore films, especially some of the German splatter movies. Uh, oh, the camera doesn't move, which is... Uh, you know, it's here and there, but for this one, I think it works really well. You know, it's not a negative that the camera doesn't move or a positive. You know, it just depends distinct styles and whatnot. It's not a Sam Raimi independent movie. The camera's not coming at you. I do enjoy that kind of stuff, but this is definitely a more subdued kind of a uh, uh, short film, and I can get behind that as well, as long as it's done well. Yeah, but that was I was pretty impressed with his uh, first uh, go at filmmaking, and I uh, will definitely check out his next movie. Uh, hopefully there's a feature in the future, but he has a good eye, and he has good for lo uh, good uh, eye for locations. Uh, you know, I'm a sucker for fall, I'm a sucker for uh, cemeteries, and, you know, really good... Uh, great looking trees and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the last days of Livermore. Uh, his uh, YouTube page will be below. Uh, that guy should help you uh, kind of navigate your way. And uh, join the Facebook group if you haven't, if you like, uh, you know, splatter and gore films. Uh, so yeah, that should navigate you where to check it out and possibly ask him some questions. But I'm Mr. Parka. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.